That looks wicked. Speaking of sports, this Sunday is Father's Day. So if your dad is the guy who drops you off at all your games or is the dude on the sideline, then go online because all week long we're giving away these old spice kits. So there's like aftershave, some deodorant and some perfume for the man. And you could give him a present for free. Um, this stuff is made by the same guys who make Hugo Boss. Nice, so then your dad can smell like a bulbs. Moving on, <laughs> <laughs> it's time to find out who today's lovely guest is. A surf chick through and through, she loves to spend time at the beach and catching some waves. She started out by posting original and cover songs on YouTube, Twitter and Facebook to gain exposure. Dreams came true when she was discovered at the age of 16 by EMI Music New Zealand after sending them a demo tape of her acoustic music. She loves making up songs, especially for her mates like Jamie Curry. And she's our friend, please welcome Jamie McDowell. And if she's right now, welcome Jamie. Oh, hello. <laughs> Did you like your little stick figure there? That freaked me out. I actually see myself as a floating head. It doesn't usually happen to me, but thank you. Yeah, every day is different around here. <laughs> Jamie, look at your femo. Lovish. That is so gorgeous. So what happens is we are going to heat this up in the oven and it goes rock hard. And then we put them together with our collection of other VIP FEMO objects and we give it away to our um, chosen charity, which is Radio Lollipop at the end of the year. Oh, awesome. We'll raise really some money cool. with that little fish right there. So yeah. thank you. <laughs> and thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> now, um, I heard a rumour that you collect Converse shoes and you have um, your favourite pair on right now. <laughs> yeah, these... Um... <laughs> Guys, <laughs> these are my favourite um, Converse's, and that's just because they've been a lot of places with me, so there's a lot of memories in these shoes, but I've got over 10 pairs and um, yeah, just collect them throughout the year. Whoa! <laughs> that's exceptional. So do you like the low tops or the high tops better? Um, I've kind of got a collection of both. I don't really mind, to be honest. I mean, like, I'm not really, like, I don't wear lots of different types of shoes. I only wear chucks or bare feet, so I guess if that's the way where I've got to kind of get the range. Okay. Well, what about at the beach? Do you mix in the jandals or...? Mm, no, I can't handle the jandal. Really? Yeah, I just wear bare feet. That's great. I did not know that. <laughs> That's good information right there. <laughs> um, now, of course, apart from your singing, you've been very busy um, supporting <laughs> Surf Lifesaving. Absolutely. Yeah, I've been um, on patrol the whole season at Power and Fong and the just looking out for people in the water, so it's been lots of fun. I'd feel so much safer if you were around, Damien. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> and also, you've been doing your best to try to stop shark finning. Tell us about this. Absolutely. Well, sharks are one of my favourite animals. I've been fascinated by them for a very long time, and um, I guess for people who don't know what shark finning is, it's, I'll show you. It's, um, it's when fishermen kind of catch sharks and they just cut off the fins and oh, use yeah. them to make shark fin soup and they throw the entire body back into the water. So as you can imagine, it's a huge waste. Yeah. And at this stage, we've had a 90% decrease in our shark population over the last 50 years. So basically by the rate that we're going, we're not going to have any left. And that's absolutely not what I want because I believe sharks are really, really nice and not worth killing. <laughs> That's so nice. So that's going to improve because of the work you are doing. So I hope so. <laughs> no, it definitely will. Now, um, of course, while you're here, um, we would love for you to show us your favourite snack. Okay. So head on in. Become the chef <laughs> for a minute. Yes, take over. Take over. Now, you like, this is pretty much a BLT sandwich, right? Yes, so I'm a really good chef. Yeah, um, right. <laughs> No, basically, the only thing I know how to make is a BLT, um, so I go camping a lot and I need something really simple and something you can do on like a little barbecue. Right. So yeah. um, I just have me, I don't really bring a toaster <laughs> when I go camping, you but we just make a little fire and heat the toast up on that. Nice. It's pretty bogan, nice. but lots of fun. It's pretty beer grills. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so it was really go. simple. We'll pop the toast out. Yeah. Um, I can did you know that I only learned that you're not supposed to get toast um, out of the toaster with a fork like last year? Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. My oh, parents didn't tell me no, for ages. No. But it's pretty simple. You do. Get some butter. I'm going to get you to just actually watch the bacon because okay, you're a yeah, man and that's what you're meant to know how to right, do. Okay. Box around, Jimmy. Um, and you just simply simply just put that butter on there. Like really, everyone's got a different way of putting butter on their sandwich, but I don't really care. I just kind of nice. layer it, layer it. Put a bit of butter then. Yeah. Um, what then, next? Well, I love tomato, so okay. I actually put quite a lot of tomato on mine. Oh, nice. Bacon's ready, chef, just when you need it. Just wait. Okay. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I mean, I like to actually put the bacon in the middle. Like, okay. people do this in different layers. Okay. But for me, I appreciate the nice bacon thing. Oh, okay. Yep. Bacon in. That's great. How's that? Okay. Okay, that's a lot of bacon. <laughs> um, and then we just She's grab like grab some lettuce. Well, that's yep. what I mean. Everyone does this differently, so just yep. it's okay. Her moment. Yeah, like you're right. You're right. Yeah, this is the only right. time I've ever done chefing except when I'm <laughs> at home Sweet. doing this. <laughs> um, mm. And then simply just have put this little thingy on top. Just like that. Beautiful. And then you've got one that you can like take on the road and. That's fantastic, Jamie. To say thank you, um, we've got some Converse gears. I mean, they're not shoes, but they're shoelaces and the Converse hoodie. Thank you, that's so awesome. That is all Oh my yours. gosh, seriously? Yeah, it's yours. Take it. Really get now, exactly um, if you <laughs> like uh, cooking just as much as Jamie does, then you will love what we've got coming up on Friday. Join us on Friday, 4 p.m. for the 2013 Medgy Intermediate School Kitchen Showdown Final. Watch as Kiri Kiri Springbank School, Otago's Altrim School and Wellington's Plymouth School battle it out for the winning spot and $5,000 for their school. Put your vote in on the day and you'll also be in to win your family a supermarket trolley jam-packed with Medgy and Nestle treats. Join us 4pm this Friday for the one hour final. Remember,